Good morning, everyone. Many of you guys have been asking how to manage concerns about student welfare during our current state of education. We talked about this a little bit in your CLTs a few weeks ago, and I promised you more information when I had it. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what I know. The bottom line, spoiler alert, is that we're all just doing what we can to support kids and families. So your concerns are not unfounded and shared by your clinical team. Most of the referrals that CPS gets come from schools. So you can imagine that during the summer months, there's, they're nowhere near as busy as during the regular school year. Right now, calls are about at summertime levels. Family risk factors are up while their access to protective factors is down. So when we talk about risk factors for child abuse, for that matter, any form of domestic abuse. It's obvious that those risk factors are high right now. This doesn't mean that every family who experiences these issues is necessarily suffering some sort of abuse in the home. Most, I'm sure, are not. It's important to know that even when there are a lot of risk factors present, those can be mitigated by the presence of protective factors. So these are some of the greatest protective factors for families. Taking a look at this list, you can imagine how those are really taking a beating right now. We want you to know that we see the things that you guys are doing to support kids and your clinical team is also working to help our students and families. So with regard to what's being done, right now we don't have much control over the risk factors that are impacting our families. So we're really doing our best to build up those protective factors. Our principals sent out a parent survey ooh, about a week and a half ago, and that allowed parents to identify areas of need for their families. We actually received over 130 responses, and we split those up between clinical teams at both schools. We're reaching out to those families, the families we already knew would need support, and those that you guys refer to us. We've developed a parent newsletter promoting resiliency factors and parenting tips, Florence is organizing a parent coffee next week that admin and clinical team members will attend to answer questions about that parents might have about managing behaviors, trying to create some sense of calm in the home. So we're doing all we can think of uh, to make sure that parents have access to financial and emotional supports and parenting resources. A lot of you guys already are doing a lot to support kids. Some of you guys are doing emotional check-ins with students or you've given Mr. B time with your classes to do check-ins with students using his zone survey. Lee Duay told me about a resource that she found called Pear Deck and that allows her to check in with students via her Google Slides. I'm sure many more of your colleagues are using other resources, so just be sure to share those things with each other when you guys meet in your CLTs. Um, you all are a lot more creative than I am, and you all have come up with lots of creative ideas about how to kind of keep tabs on how your kids are doing. Also, when you're talking with parents and kids, keep in mind those risk and protective factors when you talk with folks and just be mindful that any of your conversations and interactions with students and parents are an opportunity to reduce those risk factors and build up those strength factors. So, of course, please let a clinical team member know if you have specific concerns about any of your students or families. The CPS hotline is also still available. They are doing home visits to follow up on validated complaints and referrals. So as per usual, when to call CPS, you should still call CPS if you have an obvious concern about a student. Say if you hear abusive comments being made to a student while in the virtual learning setting, or you see significant signs of abuse. We know that this isn't going to happen a lot. And even during the school year, you guys have concerns because you have so much contact with students. You don't have that right now. So we know that there's no way for you to define what's going on behind the scenes. Um, but still, if you have a concern, you can call. I also included here a link that the county has put out to a website or to a website the county's put out where parents can find lots of support and resources if you want to share that with them. Again, if you refer a family to a clinical team member, we'll be sharing this and any other resources that we have with them as well. 
So also, please know that as a clinical team, we're trying our best to prepare for kids return to school in August. We hope, please God. Um, we're realistic about the facts that students are going to need a lot of remediation. Parents will have been stressed out for months and teachers will have a lot on your plates right out of the gate. So we want to continue our screenings of students using the universal screener we used last year. But we also want to be as organized as we can about and uh, beef up the supports that we've been providing this year. We're collaborating with folks in the central office to make sure that our tiers of support are available to students and that they're really cohesive and that we're also or offering those tiers of support to families mm -hmm. and to staff. So Terry and the principals continue their work with the base commander's process action team. They coordinate efforts with other family serving agencies on post. So we know that next year is going to bring its own set of challenges for all of us, but we also really believe in our staff and the amazing work that you guys do when your creative minds work together. And as a clinical team, we're doing what we can to prepare to meet those challenges and support our entire school community. Hang in there, everybody. We will get through this together. Have a great week. And remember that your clinical team is also here for you. So feel free to drop any of us an email or visit our office hours if you need any kind of support from us. We really do care about you guys and we wanna be here for you as much as you have been there for your students. Thank you so much for all that you guys do.